Hello everyone and welcome to another DRD tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how we can send pitch and gate messages or control voltages from Ableton to our modular synth. To do this we'll first need to download a Max for Live device from my website danielardahan.com. Go to DRD devices then we'll grab the DRD pitch and gate CV Max for Live device. It'll take you to a Dropbox download page. You don't have to have a Dropbox account to be able to download it. If you don't, you can just click no thanks, otherwise log in. This should show up in your downloads folder almost instantly. And then we can add that device to either our Ableton Live set or wherever you save your Max for Live devices to. Then we'll make some connections. We'll first connect our modular synths output to the first input or an input of our audio interface. Then we'll connect up our pitch control voltages from analog one out of our mode two alter light into our one volt per octave connection on our synth. And then we'll connect analog two of our multi alter light to the gate input of our modular synth. Then back in Ableton, we'll add an external audio effect to our same track that has our Max for Live device on it. We'll route our audio out to those same outputs that we just connected to the pitch and gate. And then we'll route our input to the same input that our modular synth is connected to. Then before we can calibrate, add the tuner so we can tune this. And then we're on to um, calibrating. So the calibration process works by first beginning at the lowest note, C0, and tuning that to the lowest C that we can get out of our synthesizer. I find it easiest to use my push to do this because I can do macro adjustments by just grabbing any of the knobs and then if I hold the shift while twisting that knob I can move in smaller increments and really lock in each of those C's. So we'll go from the bottom all the way up to the top and you should note that this uh, Max for Live device will only allow you to adjust the C that you have last played. So if I play a C0, I can only adjust the tuning of the C0 and I can't adjust any of the other notes until I trigger the next C that I want to adjust. This is just to kind of save you from accidentally bumping one of the C's that might already be tuned. So we'll run the full range of our register from C0 up to C6. Once we've got that all locked in, then everything should be set. We can save this Max for Live device as a preset for whichever modular synths that we're currently working with and move on to making music. So thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful and hope you really enjoy working with this Max for Live device.